Hey everyone and welcome to another Monthly Favorites. Hey guys, I hope that you have been having a wonderful April. I had to like think about what month that is again. <laughs> I hope you have been have um I hope you have been having a wonderful April for at least the past week. I don't know about you guys, but the weather has been beautiful where I live. It's been like from the low 60s to the high 60s, which is like my favorite weather ever. And it's been like slightly rainy today. Um, and it might start thundering during this video. So if that's what's happening, I apologize. It is not a huge eruption happening in my home. It's just a classic spring thunderstorm, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I've been having a great April so far, but I am going to be talking about my March favorites. So let's go ahead and let's get started. My wisdom teeth have been like growing in the back and I can't get them, well, I can get them removed, but I don't have to because I only have these. And they've just been really hurting this past week. So if I'm like, it's just my wisdom teeth, don't worry. <laughs> So the first thing on my list is my new favorite thing in the world, and it is my overalls. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but we're going to pretend like it's going to be great. Okay, these are the top. So cute. So cute. So freaking cute. And if you guys are like, hmm, what do these look like you in person? Go to my blog and just scroll through like my top carousel pictures. I think there's three of me in them right now. So if those are these look like on me. Um, these are from American Eagle, of course, because everything that I own is from there and also everything from like the bottom down I have to have from there because their jeans just fit better than anything else. And like I was nervous about getting overalls because I was afraid as a tall person that they would not hug me in the right ways, but they're absolutely perfect. So I definitely recommend if you want some overalls to get them from there. So the next thing on my list, I'm not actually really sure where it's from, but I mean, I got it from FabFitFun, but I don't know where it's actually from. It's this cute necklace. Let's see if y'all can see it. How do they do that? Oh God, I'm terrible at this. Okay, well, you can kind of see it. <laughs> It's like silver and it has little confettis in it and it's just really cute I haven't had a silver necklace in a long time because my favorite one broke like a couple years ago and it was really sad So I'm excited to have it Going along with the jewelry category the next two things are from H&M. I got these necklaces and they're like these super cute like Circle oh did that work? I can't tell these super cute circle necklaces And I've really been wanting like these gold ones because my best friend has them and I am jealous because they're so cute So I found some for me to them and they're just like super cute and they hang like right here So yeah, those are for me to them and then I have one last piece of jewelry These friggin earrings I cannot stop wearing them they are just the cutest things ever and i honestly probably wear them like three times a week and they are like super loud like this and i wear them too so i'm sure they annoy people but i love them and the last thing in the clothing category are these shoes they are also from h&m sadly h&m no longer sells them um but i love them so much and they're just like really simple like gray flats but i love wearing them to work they're super comfortable and they go with everything. My camera is like getting low on battery, so every like two minutes it's saying to stop recording. So this is gonna be really fun to edit later. <laughs> okay, so the next category is cosmetics. So the first thing on here I don't have because it's downstairs and I'm way too lazy to get it, which you will find will be a theme in this video. Um, and it's the Lush face mask called Oda Fix, I think it's called. Oh my gosh, that stuff is amazing. My face has been so dry recently. Um, I might have said it in the last video because it just hasn't ended. Um, and I got that mask last weekend. It's like changed. Like I wake up the next morning and my face like looks like I drink water like all night long. It's amazing. It looks really weird, but it smells like an oatmeal cookie when it's on. I'm obsessed with it. Everyone should go check it out if you have a Lush by you. The next thing, there are actually two more masks on here. I've been using a lot of masks recently. The first one is this um, pink Sephora mask. It's for unifying and brightening and I just love it. I've written about these before. I just think they're awesome. They are say they're only supposed to last like four uses, but honestly they last me like 10, sometimes 15 times. So they're definitely worth your money. They're only $8 um, and I just really love them. And then there's this one from Fresh. It's, you can't 
Oh, still blurry. It's fine. Um, this is a rose face mask infused with real rose petals. My kind of thing. It hydrates and tones. Um, I can tell it's working because it kind of hurts my face when I put it on. Um, just because my face is so dry. So it stings a little bit, but it's totally worth it. And it just smells really good. It smells like like rose jam. That sounds really weird, but I definitely recommend this. This is a sample size though, and I got it from Sephora. Don't know that I would pay full price for the big thing, but I'm bargainista. Okay, so the next thing is something that I know that I should have been doing a really long time ago, but it's sunscreen on my face. Um, this is the Super Goop. Oh my gosh, I'm really bad at this, you guys. Can you? No. It's just not going to work out. It's fine. This is the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40 by Supergoop, and I got this in Sephora. I think any, like, face sunscreen, I think Neutrogena has them too, which is, it's just good for your skin, and my skin has been freaking out every time I step out in the sun, so even though it's, like, only 70 degrees, but it's just really good for you, apparently, so do it, I guess. Everyone tells me that, so there you go. The next thing, they don't sell this anymore, don't hate me, but it's the Bath & Body Works um, Mint Leaf and Bergamot with Natural Peppermint Oil. Oh, it smells so good and it's just like so relaxing and I love this formula and anything by Bath & Body Works is my favorite thing ever. So this is what lotion I've been using this month. And the last thing is something that I actually didn't think that I would like and this is the second time I've gotten this in the Sephora play box and the first time I actually just went ahead and gave it to my mom because I didn't think I was gonna like it um, but it's the Sephora Lash Craft Fig Volume Mascara um, and it might be that they did like a different formula because this brush is more of like what I typically use. Um, I love this. Like I think it's almost as good as um, the Benefit Roller Lash or like the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir, so fancy, mascaras. Um, so I definitely would check this guy out. I would not pass him up in the store. So there you have it. The last thing in beauty is something that I've been really excited about. It is this blow dryer and it is so cool. I'm obsessed with this thing. So I've had this same blow dryer since I was in the eighth grade. That's a really long time. Like since I was 13, I've had the same blow dryer. That's almost a decade of blow drying my hair with the same thing. So that's not good. So recently I got this one. Um, and it's just, it's the Infinity Pro by Conair. And it's just awesome. Like there's an ionizer in it. So it kind of helps keep your hair straight. Like my hair right now, this is just blow dried. Like I did nothing to it besides blow dry it. Um, and I think it's partly because of this guy. So I definitely would recommend checking this out if you're in need of a new blow dryer. Um, or if you're just looking for something that kind of like helps keep your hair straighter while you blow dry it. Sorry, it had like dust all over it. <laughs> so yeah, that's my beauty category for this month. So the next thing is food. And just like I said earlier in this video, I am way too lazy to go and get the food that I'm going to talk about. So I'm just going to talk about it, you know? Um, so the first thing is the Dove Dark Chocolate Almond-like little squares. I got them for my desk at work because some days you just need like a little bite of chocolate to get you through the day, you know? And they're delicious and I have to tell myself to eat one a day because I could eat like 10 of them. So it was probably a really bad idea buying them, but they're just so good. If you like dark chocolate, just try them. They are so good and they have like a beautiful almond in the middle. Just some quality stuff. Okay, so the last thing that I am going to be talking about in the food is a drink. And if you've been watching March Madness, you have seen this drink every five minutes. And it's been in your subconscious that you need to try it. Because there's been commercials for it over and over and again. And I'm here to be that other commercial and tell you that you need to try Orange Vanilla Coke. Seriously... It is so good. It is like a creamsicle and a vanilla Coke. Had a cute little baby and you just get to sip on it and <laughs> that's so gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> the weirdest analogy ever. I apologize. But anyway, it's really, really good. And it really does taste like a creamsicle and vanilla Coke. And oh man, I like crave it constantly, partly because of those commercials, but partly because it's so good. And I just don't want them to stop selling it. So everyone should go and buy a case, even if they don't like it. So 
Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to kind of merge the home category and the entertainment category in one because some of them kind of cross over into the other and I just don't really know, like, I don't know what is what, honestly. So um, the first thing is actually going to be this iPhone case. So if you've been following me on social media, you know that I did a giveaway for this, well, for a phone case from Case App, and they've so kindly gifted this to me, and the next thing that I'm going to talk about, um, and I'm just kind of, like, obsessed with this company and, like, really confused as to why I didn't order from them before. Um, I've known about them for a really long time. Um, I don't know when they came out with these cases, but these are their tough cases, and they're just like an OtterBox case. Um, so they feel just as sturdy. They look just as sturdy. And I'm not going to shatter my phone to pieces with this. And it's just so cute. And they have hundreds and hundreds of designs. And on top of that, you can also design your own case, which I think is super cool. So definitely check them out. And I believe... I don't know if it's till the end of the month or for another week. I'll have to put it in the link um, in the description down below. Um, but you can use the code Brie Arsenal. That's B-R-I-E-A-R-S-E-N-A-U-L-T. And it's right here. Um, Brie Arsenal 20 to get 20% off your purchase. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And right along with that is my, I should probably hold it like this, is my laptop case. How freaking cute is this? I am obsessed with this laptop case. It's the most amazing thing. Ever. It's actually not a case. It's like a skin. So it's like a giant sticker and I bought like a clear case to put on it so that the sticker could just like stay on it rather than an actual laptop. But I'm like obsessed with this. And again, this has been gifted to me from Case App. Um, but like, what? That is so cute. And the code also applies for laptop skins. And again, like there's hundreds of designs or you can create your own. Pretty freaking awesome and I think everyone should go and check them out. So go to caseup.com. The description or the link will be in the description box down below. Goodness, how do these YouTubers do this? Anyway, super cute. Go check them out. Okay, so my favorite movie this month has been Captain Marvel. Oh my gosh, I love that movie. I do like superhero movies, but they're not like... Normally I don't feel like I have to see them unless it's like Guardians of the Galaxy and that's mostly for Chris Pratt if we're going to be honest and like I like the Avengers movies but for the most part like it's kind of take it or leave it for me um and I do like Spider-Man too. Anyway but with Captain Marvel like I would watch that movie 10 times in a row and I'm like dying to like see her in this Avengers movie and to see her like if she ever is in other movies and I hope she is. I don't want to spoil anything because it just came out like three weeks ago so a lot of you probably might have not gotten the chance to see it. Go see it before you see Avengers though. I really think she's going to be the hero of Avengers so I definitely think you guys should check it out. Again I don't want to spoil it but she might be my favorite superhero ever because she's literally the coolest and most amazing one ever and I just can't wait to like watch that movie with my daughter one day and she can just see how awesome girls can be and just freaking kick butt you know like she's just great so I definitely recommend everyone going to see that movie and the last thing which is kind of like something that people will be surprised of of me is that I love March Madness and I've been obsessed with it this month like I get so into the competitions oh I gotta yawn wow I get so into the competitions and so into the bracket and like so intense and like I will sit with like four screens and watch like all the games at one time and I just am obsessed with March Madness. Um, at this point in March Madness, I'm not obsessed anymore and this is coming out at the time of the final game and I just like, <sighs> my bracket got busted big time. I had UK and Duke going to the final and they didn't even make it to the final did they make it to the final four? No, they didn't even make it to the final four. So that kind of sucked. So yeah, and the team that beat my school in KU, they made it to the final. So that makes me feel a lot better that we weren't like bad or we didn't just have like a bad game. Like we literally were playing with one of the top two, could be the top team in the NCAA. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm not big into sports, but I really like the competitive side of like matching all these things up and like trying to figure out like who's going to be who and is it based on like statistics or is it just based on like a whim? So I'm really into that. I don't know why, but I am just like I'm super into the Olympics. They're my crap. I love the Olympics. 
it's just those two things, like nothing else that I really care about. So anyway, there you have it. So that has been my monthly favorites and I hope that you all enjoyed it and please go ahead and jump on over to my blog, brearsenault.com. Give me a subs email subscription. I don't really know how that, like what to call that, but subscribe to the email so you always know when a new post is coming out um, and just go through and check out my archives and check out some other blogs I have. Don't be afraid to like this video and subscribe below. As of right now, I'm only posting my monthly favorites on here, but you never know what the future will hold. So why miss out if I do change it up? So go ahead and do those things and I can't wait to see you guys next month. Bye.